master. You move from the mundane, from the average, to mastery. Mastery is an obsession. Those who are obsessed with the process of becoming are the ones who become. See, a lot of people, they want that gold. They want that ring, but they don't want to put that work in. And in order to achieve, I must understand that I must study. I must study to move from average to mastery. It's the daily battle. It's the daily grind that prepares us and equips us to win the war. Why do you do what you do? Why do you want what you want? The question is why have you delved deeply into the reason why you do what you do? I need you to take a moment and garner up all the belief that you have left in yourself and in the idea of what is possible to make this thing happen. The process is muddy. The process is murky. The process is dark. The process is cold. The process is going to leave you in places where you're going to feel like you have been abandoned, like nobody believes in you, nobody supports you. What is your why? Because if your why is powerful enough, then you can persevere through the process. What is it? Find it. When you don't see a light at the end of your tunnel, you got to remember the light that is burning inside of you that nobody is able to put out. There is not a person on this planet that can stop you. It is a possibility that you are only doing what you are doing because somebody told you to do it. Two things define you. Your patience when you have nothing and your attitude when you have everything. There is no ending to true love. All men by nature desire to know. Aristotle. This quote captures Aristotle's view that human beings are inherently curious and driven by a natural desire to understand the world around them. You give power to someone you blame for your problems. Time is your most valuable resource. There are no refunds or second chances for the time you waste. Successful people are simply those with successful habits. Brian Tracy Consider them through all actions and occupations of their lives, as when they eat and when they sleep, when they are in the act of necessary exoneration and when in the act of lust, again, when they either are in their greatest exaltation and in the middle of all their pomp and glory, or being angry and displeased in great state and majesty, as from an higher place they chide and rebuke, how base and slavish but a little while ago they were fain to be that they might come to this, and within a very little while what will be their estate when death hath once seized upon them. She was drunk, so it was like me and my mom. And so it was a lot of just me. So when you're waking up every morning by yourself, getting after it by yourself, and it's the hidden work. People see one minute you know, video of me running this, these fighters, you know, they they see them during the fight or after the fight. They don't see them, you know, what they deal with every day. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. Because every day, they're, even though they're from the best in the world, that little mother seven or eight years old is still in there saying, oh, man, we don't, we don't have something. Man, we're not good enough. We shouldn't be here. So you're always fighting that motherfucker, even though you beat it. You never truly beat it and you get up early and all these things you do to start forming yourself you're alone you're alone you may have a shrink you're going to you may have a best friend you're going to but there's 24 hours in the day where you're alone in this brain and your brain is talking to you in all kind of ways 
and it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're you got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. So you have to be quiet in your mind. Get away from people. We love being around people. We love talking. We love partying. We love all that. It's okay to be alone. It's also okay to be unhappy. I put my phone away. I put it away. And I go dark. I go dark a lot. And it's because I have to find out I'm on a journey of life. And we all have a different journey. And I want to be in my pine box. And I believe your spirit lives forever. It has to. It's too powerful. No way in hell that thing just dies when you die. I want to be able to look back on my life when I'm all dead and be so fucking proud of myself forever. This is all temporary. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. If you think you can do a thing, or think you can't do a thing, you're right. Finis coronet opus. The end crowns the work. Latin proverb. He that can have patience can have what he will. Love people, not things. Use things, not people. What you are seeking is already within you. Muji. From some high place as it were to look down, and to behold here flocks and their sacrifices without number, and all kind of navigation, some in a rough and stormy sea, and some in a calm, the general differences, or different estates of things, some that are now first upon being, the several and mutual relations of those things that are together, and some other things that are at their last, their lives also, who were long ago, and theirs who shall be hereafter, and the present estate and life of those many nations of barbarians that are now in the world, thou must likewise consider in thy mind, and how many there be, who never so much as heard of thy name, how many that will soon forget it, how many who but even now did commend thee, within a very little while perchance will speak ill of thee, so that neither fame, nor honor, nor anything else that this world doth afford, is worth the while. The sum then of all, whatsoever doth happen unto thee, whereof God is the cause, to accept it contentedly, whatsoever thou doest, whereof thou thyself art the cause, to do it justly, which will be, if both in thy resolution and in thy action, thou have no further end than to do good unto others, as being that, which by thy natural constitution as a man, thou art bound unto. You don't have to try and you don't have to stretch. Don't set them too low. And then don't sell out. Don't go for something that's going to cost you your virtue or cost you your values or sell out your principles. There's a good middle road here to follow. Goals that will inspire. Goals that will help you grow, change, develop and become better than you. So if you want something to pull you through all kinds of challenges, all kinds of difficulties and things that come at you, you got to have something on out there beyond today, beyond next week, beyond next month, beyond this year that pulls you into the future. And the clearer it is, the stronger it pulls. The more dynamic it is, the more it affects your life, your spirit, your heart, your soul. It also creates imagination. It gets your mind working on how to achieve that purpose. And if your mind will work, and if your heart works, and if your spirit works, and if you have good input, like good ideas, I'm telling you, there isn't anything you can't accomplish. Ideas gather dust, you know, they don't produce at all by themselves. It's like philosophy is not the end. Philosophy is the beginning. Philosophy must be invested. When I talked about philosophy, attitude, and disciplines, they must be invested. 
And if you invest philosophy and attitude in disciplines, then they produce results.